Well, hi guys. So right now it is currently one in the morning <laughs> and uh, it's Monday, Labor Day technically, but we've been having a very busy weekend, um, but welcome to September. Um, a lot has happened in the first week of September. I had my stream on Friday, which went really well. And then Saturday was my friend's wedding. We were gone all day. Today was kind of like a recovery slash grass cutting and, and kind of relax kind of day. And since we are both off tomorrow on Monday, since it's a holiday, it's Labor Day, um, we're just kind of staying up, which is weird because normally we're just so tired and we're usually conked out by now, but it's one in the morning and we're still awake, so John's playing World of Warcraft. And I'm cleaning because for some reason, I clean the best when it's late at night. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. When it is like any time between like 11.30 at night to like two or three in the morning is like the best time I can clean. Like give me anything to clean and I will clean it. But I have to be in the mood. It's like these crazy cleaning moods. And I'm in one of those right now. So I'm gonna go clean because the house is a disaster. Like it normally is by the weekend because during the week we work and then we don't feel like doing anything. And usually when it comes time to record or clean, I usually pick recording over cleaning. So our house is kind of suffering at the moment. So I'm going to go and do all that and be right back. Today's Labor Day, and uh, starting it out very, very sleepily. Didn't go to bed till like two something in the morning, right, Cooper? And uh, woke up kind of late, kind of on time-ish for like the weekend, but late for a Monday. Um, not a whole lot planned since I did most of the cleaning last night in my my 1 a.m. cleaning excursion. Um, today, just gonna kind of relax, do laundry, play a little bit more Dead by Daylight. Uh, I played a bunch last night, but I had a hard time connecting to the servers or whatever, or like, I kept getting knocked out of lobbies. So I'm trying to, uh, play as a new survivor character, Nea. I think her name's Nea Carlson, N-E-A. I don't know if that's Nia or Nea. Let me know if I'm pronouncing it right. But I'm playing as her and she's fucking awesome. So I'm trying to level her up so at least I have two different characters to work with when I stream. And I tried playing the killer last night and I'm not good at <laughs> I'm not good at it. I tried playing the nurse and I saw two survivors and I couldn't hit anybody and no one was damaged. <laughs> That was my entire experience of playing the killer. I am not good at playing the killer. I'm a little bit better at the trapper, so I might try to work on him to try to get a little extra points out of it. But uh, the whole teleporting thing with the nurse, it's weird because at the end of her teleport, she kind of like acts like she's getting injured or something or she gets tired and like the whole screen goes black for a minute and it's like, like 20 seconds of her not being able to do anything, including recover or hit or anything. So it's like, it, it's kind of like the Wraith where, you know, he goes in and out of like being invisible, but there's like that period of time he can't do anything in between. So they both definitely have their weaknesses and I don't care for either of them, but they suck to play against. Like every single map I played with the nurse wrecked my shit. 
and I do a little bit better with the hillbilly and the trapper so today is just going to be me doing that and just kind of relaxing um, that's about it that is about it Happy day after Labor Day, guys. Hopefully this isn't too dark. Um, yeah, back to work today. Had a nice, relaxing day yesterday. I played a bunch more Dead by Daylight. I set up videos for the week so you guys could watch some of the stream for the week. Stretch my videos a bit so I can work on recording some other things. Um, I really like playing Naya Carlson. Really, really like it. I have her up to level 8 with a survivor rank of 18. I actually discovered something interesting and I and I apologize if any of you mentioned it in the comments for the videos or not. I don't know if anyone did, but this was just kind of one of those sudden like it hit me square in the face moments. I always initially thought in Dead by Daylight that in order to get a higher survivor rank that you need to survive every match and that's not the case and I found that out. Turns out as long as you can survive as long as possible or complete as many of a, as many of objectives as possible then you get a higher ranking which is interesting. So if you, you know, you rescue a couple people or you try to heal a lot of people, uh, if you explore chests in the area, if you try to get generators, you know, if you get chased at the end by the killer, you know, or getting boldness points for, you know, standing too close to the killer but not really getting discovered, like stuff like that gets you all these points. And the more that you accumulate, then the higher rank you can get. So I'm just discovering this, so I'm sorry if anyone had mentioned it before. I probably didn't understand what you meant, but that's what I am doing now. So I am trying to work on getting my Nea character, Nia, Nea, however the hell you pronounce her name. I'm trying to get her ranked up high, and then I will be going back and working on Meg, I believe is the other girl that I had. Uh, and my goal is to try to get a bunch of the survivors, um, going as much as possible with higher ranks and maybe start a couple of the guy characters too because it seems like i'm going to be working really hard on survivor mode more than anything because i suck at killer mode however i do need to play the killer at least a couple times so at least i can get those ranked up you know might as well get the full money for my game right i might as well do that but um let me show you what I'm doing in Pokemon Go because that's another game that I often talk about that I don't really show you guys or really talk about unless it's in the stream. So let me show you how into this I am as well. Okay, here's what I got so far. Got a bunch of them. And my list is definitely, definitely growing. And my Pokédex. Caught 87, scene 90. I missed a Pikachu uh, at Target. Which is really sad. Ooh, I didn't know I could do that. That's pretty cool. Um, I missed him several months ago. Well, not several, more like a couple months ago. Um, I missed a Vulpix. Uh, what else? Oh, Dragonite. I missed a Dragonite as well, but that's pretty much what I'm looking at right now. And there I am. And there's Dolly growling.
So Dolly has this newest thing now. Not really newest, but as of late, she's been doing it a lot more. She likes to growl and hiss at Cooper, but there's no fight or no buildup or anything. She'll just walk by him and just like go and like hiss and that's about it. And uh, it's really strange. Um, I don't know why, because if you separate them, she meows to look for him. And then once they're together, she, gr she does that. So it's so weird. I don't know if that's what she thinks playing is or if she's just kind of trying to assert her dominance because she's the smaller one. I'm not really sure, but I've, I've never had a problem with socializing two cats before. Um, and they've been together for about a month now. Over a month now. Over a month. Since July 24th, and it's like August... 6th today. No, August. Oh, God. September 6th. September 6th. Yeah, so they've been together for a month, and we did the gradual, like, introductions and stuff, and, and at first they hit it off really well, and it's like, all of a sudden, I don't know what Cooper has done <laughs> or what he's tried to do, but she just acts like she hates him from time to time, so it's really frustrating. I have no idea. None, none whatsoever. What's up, guys? Today is Saturday, De yeah, December. Wow, September 10th. And uh, this weekend is the weekend before John's birthday. So I am trying to figure out what to put together for his birthday next weekend to see if I need to order something online for him or if I'm gonna make something for him. I don't really know. At this point in my life, everything just goes by so quickly. I I thought about his birthday at the beginning of the month, and I thought, I have all this time, and I really don't, because it's like two weeks later, and now it's almost his birthday. So I have to figure out what to do with that, which will work out a lot better tonight, because he's not going to be home. So I think tonight, my main objective is to um, do some cleaning and some recording, and then try to figure out what to do for his birthday. Now, I have a couple of ideas, um, but I'm not sure which one I'm going to do or if I'm gonna do all of them. I know I'm gonna take him out to dinner, but I don't really know what else to do. I feel like birthday gifts are a lot more meaningful when you make something versus like you just go on their Amazon wish list and you just buy something that they've wanted, but that's just me. Um, and it's also a little bit cheaper but you don't want to also go that route. You don't want to make yourself look like a cheap date for somebody, but money shouldn't matter. So I'm just kind of at a crossroads at what to do. But today is just mainly just kind of doing all of that and just um, some video editing. I need to get the last two parts of Bioshock up this weekend. And I am currently working on trying to free up space on my backup hard drive because my backup hard drive is full with all the shit that I really don't need. And so I'm trying to compress files and see if I can like free up some room so I can back up some stuff. But I still have a feeling after all of that, I am still going to have to purchase a new backup hard drive, which will be my third one. My third one. I went through... I believe it was a, I went through a one terabyte and then I bought a three or four terabyte and they're both full. So that's just a little bit of an insight for you guys, for anyone who's looking into making YouTube videos and video editing. I back up everything. I keep all of my original files, my original videos, my project ideas, stuff that hasn't even been posted that was kind of something that we did that we got halfway through and said, fuck it. I keep all of it. And, uh, I mean, I don't know if I'm ever going to refer back to a lot of stuff, but I know if I ever in the future make any kind of like channel intros, not intros, but like like uh, trailers, like channel trailers or anything, I usually go back and I find older footage and I get the raw files and then I actually build off of them. So now I'm struggling to try to figure out how to back up everything I have until I am able to purchase a um, new backup hard drive. And I'm also right now trying to figure out what games I want to start in time for Halloween. 
because now is going to be the time that I need to start these so that way they are hopefully done or we can get a bunch in before Halloween. Because I feel like Halloween isn't justified enough, it's not appreciated enough as far as, you know, locally and across the world. Um, it's nowhere near comparison to Christmas, to Easter. Like, I feel like those holidays, they put out, like, so far in advance. And I hate that because, you know, not everybody's into Christmas and not everybody's into Easter. And, like, personally, because I'm not a religious person, I don't really see the hype in it. Like, I can understand if you have little kids. I could understand that, you know, your family might have a lot of hype in it. But other than that, I, I really don't, I really don't see it. Whereas Halloween, you don't have to be religious in order to celebrate Halloween. I mean, who the hell doesn't want to dress up in costumes and go get free candy? I mean, come the fuck on. Watch horror movies and stuff. So, stuff is now coming out in stores for it. So, I'm kind of getting more into the mood and like pumpkin season's coming in. So, a lot of more pumpkin stuff is arriving and, um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, kind of ready for that. I'm kind of ready for Halloween. So now that I'm in the mood for it, now I want to go ahead and play all these games and I want to get scared because <laughs> I feel like that is, that's how you appreciate the holiday and the time of year is you get the shit scared out of you, literally. So that is my plan today and I'm hoping to get all of that set up so that way when I am ready to record because I'm going to be running out of video soon so I need to record something I need to start something or I need to finish something and I'm kind of leaning more towards finishing Deadly Premonition since it is kind of a scary game and I did start it um but now now that I'm thinking uh I'm actually considering possibly redoing um Resident Evil 2 the reason why I want to redo Resident Evil 2 is because I feel like, like the arranged mode was fun, but I feel like I cheated through it and I didn't play it how I originally wanted to play it. I just kind of said, eh, fuck it, I'd rather have something with unlimited ammo. And now I just kind of regret doing that, which is why I'm kind of regretting finishing it. Like, I feel like if I played through it the way that it was supposed to have been played, I feel like it would have been better. But I don't know if I also want to redo that because I know that in the future at some point they're going to be remaking, well, redoing, remaking Resident Evil 2. At least that's what the rumor is. They said that they're working on it, but I don't believe anything until I see it, you know. And then, and then, I also have to watch how I set up my videos because um, The Walking Dead is going to be coming out sometime in November. It could be early November, late November, mid-November, but I don't want to work on too many things past October because I'm not going to want to finish them by the time The Walking Dead comes out. And I'm sure you guys will agree because I will drop everything for Clementine. I will. I will, I will throw all of my other games away for The Walking Dead. So that's pretty much the plan. And that is a sleeping coop. And I think Dolly's under the coffee table, so let's see. Here yeah, she is. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? Yeah. Hi, pretty girl. So a quick update on Dolly, she's actually doing a lot better, like a lot, lot better. Um, she's currently on her last couple doses of medicine. I think the medicine will finally wrap up by, I think it's Sunday, so tomorrow, and then she's done. So that's what's making me nervous is I'm afraid by the time she finishes the medicine that she'll be sick again. So I'm hoping whatever she has is kicked and then once the medicine is done, and I hope she continues to feel healthy because she hasn't sneezed once in several days. So I am really, really hoping that everything is okay. Hey guys, 
Long time no see. It's been a while, like a week or two, since I last vlogged on this, on this vlog, for this vlog that you are watching, but this is the past, you're going to be in the future, you get it. So, basically what has happened since I last vlogged was um, Dolly wrapped up her medication. I think I stressed concern about um, her medicine not working or like her getting sick after the antibiotic and it's been almost a week since she's been off the antibiotics and she's been doing very very good no sneezing no congestion nothing she seems perfectly healthy so uh, my deduction based right now right in here and now is whatever she had was not an allergy or not any kind of allergies and it was some kind of upper respiratory sinus infection thing, but nothing that filled her lungs or her heart or anything like that. And I mean, here, here we are like two months after her adoption and we finally got this situated, like hundreds of dollars later, finally got it situated. But I'm so glad that she's feeling a lot better. Her energy is a lot, um, a lot, what do I wanna say? She has a lot more energy and uh her and cooper are slowly getting along uh they still kind of like fight and hiss and stuff sometimes but for the most part they're able to like be close enough to tolerate each other for a little bit before doing that so i think we're getting there uh i think another month or another couple of weeks and then we should be golden because we're not shoving pills down her throat so there isn't any kind of like threat between the two because like one's getting medicated and one isn't you know it kind of scares other cats when that happens uh so we're just kind of settling in and everything is good so that's a positive uh currently today is september 18th and uh, last Friday, which was the 16th, I was supposed to stream on Twitch because I usually do it every two weeks. And uh, this past time I decided not to stream because I was just so super exhausted um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, work was kind of stressful, but when is it? Because it's my job. Uh, but it was a little stressful and uh, just, just a lot of other things that happened. Um, I think I briefly mentioned either the last vlog or beginning of this vlog, or maybe not at all, uh, I had to go and get my blood work taken for my, like all of my levels, my thyroid, my, my blood sugar, and my liver, and all that shit. And they found that my thyroid level was a little low. So they increased my medicine, and I've been so super fucking tired. Like, I really don't know if what they're testing is what they're testing and I've read a bunch of stuff saying like you have to go to an endocrinologist and you have to get like the actual levels looked at or like sp like specific like sub levels of those levels or something like that you know it might be the case that I'm not properly adjusted as far as my thyroid and that's why it's all over the place but I was super fucking tired by Friday all I wanted to do was sleep I was so exhausted Saturday yesterday was my brother's birthday and all I wanted to do was sleep. I had absolutely no energy, you know, on top of the medication adjustment and then that time of the month and everything. It was just, just fucking kill me. So tomorrow is John's birthday and uh, I've already given him his presents because today's Sunday and I'm working tomorrow, but he's off. So right now I made him a cake. As you can see, I made him this one. He decided he wanted marble fudge marble which is weird because normally he just wants like German chocolate or something or some kind of like triple chocolate but I made that and I'm going to be putting some what is this Betty Crocker rich and creamy some milk chocolate frosting and I'll be doing that so we'll probably end up having the cake tomorrow and we'll go out to dinner tomorrow uh, right now, I'm in the process of monitoring Cooper because he seems really lethargic, kind of lazy today. I think he's just kind of having an off day. He normally has an off day where he doesn't really want to eat too much food or he's just like really super tired. And I think today is that day. So he has like a couple pieces of his canned food left and I'm trying to like coax him into finishing it. Like it's no big deal if he misses a couple pieces, but this is how he gets his medicine. Like unlike Dolly... Cooper is going to be on medication his entire life. Uh, he's on Dasequin for his knee because he has some joint problem that 
when you don't give him Dasequin, his cartilage or joint or whatever swells up and it causes him to limp and he doesn't even use the leg and it looks like his leg is broken. Uh, that was our problem with him when we adopted him. And he's on Dasequin for the rest of his life, which isn't really too bad because his uh, pills open up to powder and I put it in canned food and he usually takes it right down. But for some reason he's not eating at all and I'm trying to get the cats on a schedule of like what time to eat. I'm trying to get them to eat at the same time and not eat each other's food because Cooper has medicine in his and she does not. It will not hurt her if she does accidentally eat his but he needs the medicine more than she does which is why I always usually monitor them and I probably will for a while until they get used to the routine of whatever they're supposed to do is whatever they're supposed to do. Um, I don't know if I've ever talked about this in the past, but uh, I have talked to a couple of people and not just online, but like in person. And you occasionally hear the kind of people that turn around and they say, you know, oh, cats are impossible. You can't train them to do anything. And I highly disagree because Cats, while they're very different than dogs, they have one similarity, and that is they love routines. And if you stick with a routine, whatever routine it is, whatever time you feed them in the morning to whatever time you come home at work, they know a routine. They know what a schedule is, and you can train them if given the time. Um, over time, we trained Cooper to meow for everything that we like we, we go through this process when we feed them first of all we go you know do you love us how much and say please and then he'll meow and he knows if he doesn't meow on his cue or on his command he doesn't get food and he also knows exactly what time dinner is and he, like he knows the whole routine. He also knows if the routine gets messed up if we're not home Then he knows he's not getting dinner till later Like it's it's really crazy how they know that but they're just like a dog and that they They know exactly how to be trained and we're working on doing it with Dolly right now and so far so good She knows for the most part when I come into the kitchen around nine o'clock at night that it's dinner time for them there are a couple of occasions where I'll be making dinner maybe at like 8 30 and she she's not really like aware of the time yet so she'll come in while I'm making dinner and she thinks I'm giving her food so trying to get off that but she's doing pretty good you know um but I I don't know if it's uh, more of a they understand the tone when they know like what you say depending on what time it is what they're getting and I think that might be it. Like when you say, do you want dinner? They kind of recognize that and then they know it's dinner time. Yes, I baby my cats, get over it. <laughs> These are my children. Um, so we're working on getting them on the schedule. And what I was also shocked about was the other day, Dolly actually got up in the cat tree for the very first time. She seemed to be afraid of the cat tree. If you put her up anywhere high, she wanted nothing to do with it. So Cooper always had the top of the cat tree and she never would go up there. She would stay on the lower level and that'd be about it. One day we came home from work last week and she was up in the cat tree and we were just like, what the fuck just happened? So she's getting used to the house. She's getting used to us and our, our sleep schedules and when we eat, when we come home from work and when she eats. So it's like, it's good. You know, three months in, this is a good thing, especially since she's gone through so much and um, she's... Uh, she's doing a lot better now thank god i was really worried that after all of this that she you know would still be sick and we still had to go and get more tests done but i mean we're not out of the woods yet because who knows what she had we really don't know what she had but we do know she did not have allergies so it's a wait and see like keep a careful close eye and make sure everything's good keep everything clean but she hasn't sneezed knock on wood she hasn't sneezed. So here's hoping she stays that way. Look at you in the cat tree. Look at you. Is this your new place now? Hmm? Is this your new place now? Do you like the cat tree? 
Is Cooper jealous of you? Hmm? Oh, pretty girl. Who's the pretty girl? Is he you? Is he you? Yeah, is you? Hi, Koopy. Does she have your cat tree? You guys got to learn to share. Hey again, guys. Today is September 22nd, I believe. And uh, it's a Thursday night, and I am home by myself. Uh, John is out with his friend for his bachelor's party, so... I have to go pick them up later so they don't drive home intoxicated and uh, meaning him and his friend uh, and uh, John's birthday went really well I got him a couple of t-shirts and like some picture stuff for his birthday if you want to see I'll show you what I did that's what I did I put together a little collage of all of our pictures that we have together. He liked it, it was pretty cute. And then that's us from like a couple years ago, which is also really cute. I really like this one right here. So I was just outside tending to the pool because tomorrow we're both off because tomorrow uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of winterizing. We're gonna be shutting the pool down, mowing the grass for the last time, all that stuff before it starts getting really cold and the temperatures are supposed to drop next week. And I was just out putting shock in the pool, like not even 10 minutes ago. It's only 7.30 at night right now. And I am bit up in like six places. I have a bug bite on my cheek. I don't even know if it's swelling or if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but I have a bug bite on my cheek. I have one behind my knee, one on the side of my calf, and I feel like I might have one down by my foot or something, but like I'm starting to itch like crazy. And I'm trying not to itch it because we have to go to the wedding this weekend and I don't want giant bug, mar bug marks, bug marks, bug bites all over my body. So I'm trying to resist and it's not working. I have to go spray some more stuff on it. But uh, tonight, it seems like I am going to be recording some more Deadly Premonition until I get the call that they're done drinking and I have to go get them. Um, so I'm hoping to get a lot more recorded tonight because I think they're going to be out for a little while. Sorry, I'm deleting emails. So I think they're going to be out for a little while so I don't have to worry about them right now um, I'm guessing I'm probably gonna pick them up maybe like 11 or 12 so I have to go to the city to go get them but in the meantime I'm gonna relax watch some YouTube videos play some deadly premonition and otherwise have a good night before the busy weekend and hopefully all goes well and John doesn't get too drunk and it's a good night and everything so here's hoping oh. whoa Cooper's gonna get it in the basket. <laughs> that didn't work. Look at this. Look at this girl. This playful, beautiful little girl. Whoa! Whoa, oh boy. <laughs> Almost, oh.
Hey, Coop. What's up? What's up? You want this? I hit the fan. Don't care. Hello again. It's been a while, and I have shitty lighting in my house. Hooray! But it's too dark to record anywhere else. So, it's been a busy week. Um, since I last talked to you, it was a week ago. It was before we went to our second wedding, and the whole weekend just kind of blew away from me. The whole week blew away from me. But, uh, everything went well at the wedding, and, um... I got a lot more recording done that night. Uh, John wasn't too drunk from the bachelor party or the wedding, thank God. So everything worked out in the end. And now it's the end of September, which means that I am going to be making a lot of changes. Um, well, we've already been doing a lot of stuff around the house. So that's a given, we have the pool closed. Um, right now we're just trying to get like stuff up around the house to keep the house warm because we live a very we live there the, 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 the. we live in a very old house so there's a lot of drafts and stuff and winters are very cold up here so we're trying to just kind of prep in advance before it gets really really cold um, I think tomorrow the temperature is supposed to drop significantly it's supposed to be in like the like low 60s maybe like 50s so like we're trying to get all that done, so most of that's taken care of. It's pretty cold in the house right now, uh, which is why I'm wearing the heavier hoodie. Um, don't scratch the carpet! Thank you. <laughs> um, what else? Um, Halloween is going to be coming up in a month, and I'm prepping and planning for that. I have a lot of freaking ideas that I want to do because this whole week at work, I, have, I haven't done a damn thing. Like, I haven't done a damn thing at work. The only thing that I've been doing is driving a half hour away to sit at my desk for eight hours to go on Pinterest. So that's what I've been doing. I've been on Pinterest for days now. And I have so many freaking ideas of stuff that I want to do for Halloween involving decorations and shit. There's stuff that I want to do for Halloween on my channel. There's a bunch of games that I want to play. So I got to get cracking because I got to wrap up Deadly Premonition. I'm going to be starting a couple of new Let's Plays. And I think October is going to be the month that I'm going to have a lot of games rolling out at the same time. So you guys might be seeing multiple videos a day for probably the next month or so. Uh, depending how that goes. So I'm pretty excited about that, but I have to really get cracking and focus on doing this because it's something I really, really, really want to do. Um, uh, yeah. Other than that, nothing too crazy fancy. Um, I will say, uh, a couple of things. Um, one is I am going to be working on changing my logo like my gamer cat 09 cat i'm going to be doing something different so i don't know when that will go live i have no idea because i'm still in the process of actually like designing it and doing a lot of concept art and just kind of playing around photoshop and illustrator and shit and i i'm still working on stuff but i'm just letting you guys know in advance because Whenever I do decide on a finalized look for my new logo, uh, you guys may or may not want to go and buy stuff in the merch store now with the old one because it may not be there anymore once this is finished. So that's an FYI for you. Um, number two is I'm going to be uh, doing shorter vlogs. <laughs> So we're not going to be waiting to the end of the month and posting 40 minute vlogs any anymore. Um, so this is probably going to be the last giant vlog you see. And then I'm going to be posting them kind of randomly throughout the month as things happen and kind of break it up and upload as I go kind of thing. Um, it's not going to be a daily or a weekly. I think like maybe like bi-weekly or just when stuff happens. So depending on what goes on or what kind of event I might just kind of 
generate a vlog around whatever is happening or what is going on in my life and then just upload it like that. So uh, start seeing that in October. Um, so you guys might be seeing more of me in shorter vlogs. Um, yeah. Um, the wedding, I could briefly talk about the wedding. Uh, the wedding was really cool. It was a Final Fantasy uh, kind of themed wedding, not the whole thing, but they played Final Fantasy music when the bride walked down the aisle and it was just, it was really pretty. It was like, like uh, origami cranes folded all over the place, kind of remind me of heavy rain in, in a way, but they were all blue. Uh, it was like a blue and white theme. It was really pretty. And I don't know why, but like it suddenly sparked kind of like an interest in John and I for like our wedding. We just recently started kind of like not really heavily discussing it, but just kind of like briefly mentioning like, oh, at our wedding, we're going to do this. And I think that's cute because we're not married. We're not engaged. So like that's hopeful to me that maybe someday something will happen. But that also made me think about, you know, what the frick kind of wedding would we have if we did get married? You know, there's there's little things, little things you think about. And, you know, you can't help but think about it because right now, 90% of our friends are married. Like, 90% of our friends are married. So, we're literally, like, the last of the stragglers of people that will probably get married in the future. Whenever the hell that is. If it happens. I hate jinxing myself, so that's why I say if. Because I don't want to say, we're getting married, and then it doesn't happen. Um, but I like to think it will. So, I don't want to jinx myself. So, yeah, just pretend I didn't say anything, I guess. I don't know. But that wraps up this vlog. This, that wraps up September. I will see you guys probably over the weekend in October. I am going to be doing a lot of shit around the house. And um, I'm going to have a lot of fun with recording and stuff. So I hope you guys are prepared for next month because it's going to get crazy. It's going to get really crazy. So I will see you guys in the next update vlog thing. And uh, until then, you take care, stay warm, uh, get decorating for Halloween if you're really into Halloween, 